Who was your first celebrity crush? Oh, so many. Michael J. Fox, oh my gosh. Hot. Yeah. Nothing too serious. <laughs> no. The serious bit will be me trying to remember anything. <laughs> anything first. Yes. Oh, okay. People won't remember because I'm a thousand years old, but um, I think they were called bubblegum jeans or spaghetti jeans, and they, they're pretty hideous. They were these, like, squiggly, tight, like, corrugated iron jeans, and I got... I leaned right in. I leaned right into those and had many pairs. <laughs> it would have been the... Springbok tour because my parents had dragged me as a very young, very young girl to Mirata Mita's film Patu. And I remember then it was a radar every time I looked at anything to do with the news, I, I knew automatically what it was all about. So that's the big stuff that I remember. It would have been cleaning the Lighthouse Motel in Upanuni and Hokianga. Did you ever come across anything interesting that oh, somebody left behind? Not suitable for on screen, I reckon. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to be a politician. <laughs> Um, because it was something that everyone felt that I should take up opportunities to do. It was something that I kept getting shoulder tapped to do. It's something that is a massive honour, but I wouldn't recommend it as a goal in and of itself. I keep saying to people, think about what you want to do for the world, and being a politician might be a part of that or not. So I'm really honoured, um, but it's a weird life as well. Remember in Dunedin, we had all the artists and creatives were just were our babysitters, and it wasn't until we grew up we realised, oh, Hone Tufari, he writes stuff, and you know, Merita, Mita, she produces and directs stuff. We had all these amazing um, artists, creators, and community leaders who we just thought were our babysitters. And um, it's a deep honour. Ralph Hortere was another one. It's a deep honour to realise that we had um, a privileged time with such amazing, amazing people. Yeah. Um, sniff children, like quite literally. I was somewhat disturbed when I realised that that is exactly what I do when I get in the door and I just sort of linger around their, their heads and necks and I, I'm literally smelling them. <laughs> and I do that for a good solid half an hour before I can even put the bag down and get out of the heels and the, and the business jacket and whatever else formal is going on. Um, and I feel like that I can't really function until I've sniffed children. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> it's also the time that I'm like, you need to wash your hair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>